Imagine a town full of physically impaired people, all wheelchair users. They run everything. There aren't any able-bodied people, so naturally, when they built the town, the community decided it was pointless to have ceilings ten foot high and doors seven foot high. So the ceilings were built at seven foot and the doors at five foot. In every way, they designed the place the way they wanted it. One day, a few able-bodied people come to stay. One of the first things they notice is the height of the doors. And the reason they notice is because they keep hitting their heads. They come to stand out by the bruises they carry on their foreheads. Soon doctors, psychiatrists and social workers all become involved. Committees are formed. Many people are worried about what becomes known as the problem of the able-bodied. Throughout the town there is a growth of real concern. Specially toughened helmets are handed out, free to the able-bodied, to be worn at all times. Braces are designed which give support and relief, while keeping the able-bodied wearer bent to normal height. Various groups of compassionate wheelchair users get together and form registered charities. Every quarter they have a collection day. Upturned helmets are left in pubs and shops for people to drop their small change into. There is talk of founding special homes. But then one day, it dawns on the able-bodied that there is nothing actually wrong with them, just that society excludes them.